Hi, my name is Chad Mullendu, and today I'll be discussing why you should go Greek. So let's kick it off. Here's a picture of a stereotypical frat guy, most like to label to. It says, alcoholic? No, I'm frat. The opinion of the out of viewers believe that stereotypical frat guy is nothing but a party or oh, he's just a plain out of jerk. Well, I'm here to teach you what the difference of frat to fraternity and other sorority <laughs> members are. Well, let's kick it off. What benefits can it, ha can it have on you while being into a Greek organization? Well, GPA, your philanthropies, and also community service that will benefit you. Now, I belong to a fraternity and it has impacted me in the same way as it can impact you. So, all this behind this, this is why you should go Greek. Now, I will talk about the benefits of the in and out of school arguments and also I will discuss the two main points which are philanthropies and community service. And of course I will address the opposition that most of you think that you pay for your friends and the cost. So how does it benefit you in your schooling? Well, according to UCKEDU says nationally 71% of Greek students graduate while only 50% independent students graduate. So let's kick it off into Southeastern Louisiana University. According to the Greek advisor Beth Newell, SLU's fall of 2012 for females GPA was a 3L while only males was a 27 which is a total mean for 770 students was a 2.9 for Independent students, males was a 2.5 and females was a 2.8. Combined mean was a 2.7 out of 13,270 students. So, according to USAToday.com, fraternities and sororities are overlooked by the general public due to hazing and excessive alcohol consumption. But philanthropies and community service often go underlooked due to the flaws and mistakes that have been made that have been publicized. So what is a philanthropy? Many of you may wonder, well, a philanthropy promotes welfare for others which is also known as a charity event that, that is put on throughout each, each semester that fraternities do and sororities. While my fraternity, J Delta Tau Delta, which we do is JDRF, which is Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation which we do, Delts do a thousand for JDRF, but we ride a bike and do thousand miles out of a span of a week to raise money to cure for, to find a cure for diabetes type 1. Now community service is a big involvement for Greek organizations. It promotes unity and also among members and cultivates responsibility. It teaches, it teaches the approaches to find the different appreciation of life that you might not be able to find just being a normal Joe sometimes. Oh, well, what about the argument out of school? Well, you have networking. Anything you do in your fraternity or sorority is what you get out of it. The people you meet, you meet all kinds of people, different types, and it, will, it can lead you into the dream job that you've been dreaming since you've been a kid to step into that doorway of being completely confident in what you wanted to do. And of course, your, your resume for your job can be built firmly due to the fact of your philanthropies and your community service that can build your resume up to look according to the way that your interviewer is looking. Which also, your job interviewer is not going to want to know how well you did a keg stand, keg stand or how well you took shots at a bar, but he wants to know how well you can lead your job and your employees. And also, you can relate this to your philanthropies and your community service that you've done leading in your chapter. So in the move of all these great benefits, people still don't want to join. Well, many people want to say it's the money. My dues are $65 a month, which if you break that down, $2 a day, it's just like buying a normal energy drink before class. <clears throat> but also, Southeastern does, does uh, benefit scholarships, work study, 
and financial aid for students who would like to join Greek organizations. Now, for many of you say paying for friends. Well, there's no difference in joining any other organization on campus, which would be a professional organization, such as being a future CEO of a company for Southeastern, or having, being an organization that you, you just like to have fun in. Well, it's the same thing for Greek organizations. And I don't look at it as paying for my friends, but I look at it as paying for my future and paying for the things that I'm being able to do by this great time I've had in college and the networking that I've had. So, in conclusion of all this, Greek life shouldn't be stereotyped because it does have its benefits. So, when it comes to next semester, and you're standing around, you got your classes filled out, you check into your dorm, and you're ready to go, and you're just walking around campus looking to something to do, looking to something to get into, and you see one of these pamphlets. And it's a Greek organization recruitment invitation. So, what will you do? Will you take the stand? Greek, organization, Greek organizations are looking for the best. Do you want to become the best of the best and do great things in this world? Well, here's your chance. Take the stand. Go Greek. Thank you.